Hello and welcome everyone to the War Thunder game. My name is Iron Rifle and in today's video I will be comparing the tier 3 bombers. And to start off let's introduce our competitors for today's video. It is the PBY-5A Catalina, the PBY-5 Catalina, the one without the, the wheels to end on the, on the ground. From the Russians there is SB2M uh, 103U. The British comes with the Beaufort Mark 8, and the Japanese comes with the H6K4. And uh, just a quick word of the to you, all of you guys out there saying, well, it is only one plane in here, the SB2M, and you do see a couple of them in here. Well, first of all. They are all on tier 3 and those 3, the SB2M uh, 103, 103 MV3 and 103U are pretty much exact same aircraft with the exact same stats, with the exact same bomb loadout. Uh, the only exception is the first one you get, the SB2M 100. It do have reduced amount of bombs but they are very cheap aircrafts on the tier, tier 3 it's like 1300 credits for one so you can easily skip the first one and go with the three others which are in every way greater and better than the than the first one so just for the sake of the comparison I was uh, only comparing this aircraft this uh, 103U uh, to the other and not going with those uh, two in here because they are exactly the same thing and yet again you might say well where are the Yanker 87? well the Yanker 87's uh, will be reviewed uh, with the attacker planes I will be doing review on, on the attacker planes and I do feel like the Yanker 87 shouldn't be called a bomber it should be called more of the of the attacker plane so that's why I did uh, I haven't put them into the into the comparisons right now just to be able to compare them with their well in my opinion the proper category for them but let's get started let's uh, let's uh, let's see our competitors and they are right here for you and let's go after the categories well after the normal one like the repair cost which we know from the previous videos uh, the rate of climb the turn time uh, there are also some new armaments as uh, well the, the new uh, new categories just for uh, just for the bombers and they require a bit of a, an explanation for you uh, there are those categories are the bomb load the defensive armaments the amount of bombs the plane can carry and the armaments considering just the the bombs so let me put out those competitors right now and explain the category uh, more thoroughly well as for the bomb load uh, as you can see the Catalina can carry a different amount of bombs from uh, 800 kilograms to two, uh, 2000 kilograms and yes I will be doing the comparison for the bomb loadout in kilograms and I do know that the one pound is uh, 0 0.453 uh, ki of kilogram so uh, for just for the sake of the comparison I did get the assumption that one pound is roughly half of the kilogram so that's why you will see uh, me comparing the Catalina bomb loadout which is in pound and also the British Beaufort that will also get his uh, bomb loadout in pound I did convert it to kilograms just for the sake of the of the comparison so remember this will be in the kilograms as for the defensive armament well Defensive armaments is your basically turrets and as you can see here the Beaufort got two turrets One in front in here in the nose 
and one turret in the back in here so okay right in here and despite them being a doubled turret so you do see that this turret times one 12.7 millimeter browning machine gun times two that only means that this one turret do have a doubled machine gun and I won't be counting this double machine gun as the additional uh, defensive armament just because no it is one turret it can shoot in one direction uh, so it will provide you with uh, defensive fire into one direction in the same same thing as the Catalina do get uh, four uh, four turrets only one uh, carabine per uh, per, tur per turret but it still can cover more area around the plane than the than the Buford so that will be a four uh, four defensive armaments on the on the aircraft as for the amount of bombs the good example is the SB2M uh, because uh, as you can see he can carry from anything from three bombs well three 500 kilo bombs up to eight and those eight are here the uh, two 250 kilo and six 100 kilogram bombs that makes eight bombs in total and in some missions and in some situation carrying those uh, this loadout will be more beneficial for you than carrying only those three so keep that in mind when I will be comparing the amount of bombs as f for the armaments whenever you hover up of your, uh, of your aircraft you can see that the armaments present is 8 but just for the sake of the comparison I wasn't going after the each and every different uh, armament present for the H6K4 because the only difference between those two type of bombs is the one getting more uh, more penetration the type bomb gets more penetration while the mold bomb gets m bigger explosion radius and to be honest with you this explosion increased uh, explosion radius or this penetration isn't that uh, that important or that value by by me just to saying well this aircraft has loads of different uh, different different kind of uh, of armaments present so just for su just for the comparison I did uh, did put those two uh, into like a one so those two counts as one okay so we do have our categories there is uh, seven of them so let's see again our competitors and I will go over the stats of it so starting off with something that is uh, well most important for for the bomber pilot is the uh, actual amount of, uh, of of the bombs you can carry uh, and their weight. We will starting with the bomb load. So the clear winner in this category are both Catalinas because they can carry in kilograms. I re uh, just a reminder: it is in kilograms anywhere from 800 to 2000 kilograms so that's pretty pretty awesome on the uh, second place here place the H6K4 carrying uh, anywhere between 500 kilograms up to 2000 kilograms it's slightly less than the Catalinas on the third place goes the SB2M with uh, amount of bombs from 500 to uh, 1500 kilograms and the last place goes to Beaufort we can only carry 500 kilograms of bombs well as you can see the most punch is delivered by either by the Catalinas or by the Japanese now let's go for the rate of climb here the first the, the, the winner in this category is the SB2M with 9 meters per second of climb, uh, climb time closely followed by the H6K4 with 7 meters per second 
On the third place goes the Beaufort with the six meters per second, and the uh, and we end up with two Catalinas on the fourth place with five meters per second of climb time. Next category is the turn time. Well, the turn time, the least turn time, better for you. You can uh, go over the targets faster and you don't have to, well, it will be more precise going over them. And the winner in this category is, amazingly, the H6K4 with 22.6 uh, seconds of turn time followed by the SB2M with 24.2 seconds then we do get our Catalinas uh, the, the first Catalina with 26.9 then the 5A version of the Catalina with 36.4 and we finishing off with the with the Beaufort with 39.6 seconds so quite a big turn time for you here as for the repair cost well you will pay less for the Catalinas because their repair cost is only 1728 credits uh, followed by the uh, the Beaufort oh sorry sorry there uh, would be be <laughs> making a slight mistake. Uh, the first Catalina, the normal version of Catalina, gets the repair cost of 17,000, uh, 1,728 credits. Then we get the Catalina 5A and Beaufort on the same level of 1,764 credits. Then we move to the SB2M of 2,088 credits. And after that, there is a huge gap because the H6K4 is the most expensive aircraft to repair with the crazy amount of 12,960 credits to repair it. So either if you are very lucky in the game and no one is going after you, this aircraft can actually uh, earn his uh, his repair cost whenever you destroy like 20 ground targets okay as for the defensive armaments the clear winner with this category is the H6K4 with five uh, defensive armaments present one being a cannon uh, and it is placed on the on the tail of the aircraft then we do get our Catalinas, the normal and the 5A version, with uh, four defensive armaments out there. Then we get the SB2M with uh, three machine gun nests. And the last one is, well, yet again, I might say, the Beaufort, with only two turrets present on this aircraft. Okay next category and we are going to to the end right now the amount of bombs the planes can carry well the clear winner here is the SB2M uh, able to carry anywhere from three bombs up to eight so that gives him a first place then we go for the both of the Catalinas able to carry four uh, four bombs in every configuration of them then it's the Beaufort able to carry every anywhere from two to four bombs well that's that's good for you Beaufort you finally not the last plane and the last uh, last thing here is the is the H6K being able to carry only uh, being able to carry only two bombs well only two decent bombs I might say because counting those 12 uh, 12 bombs of 50 kilos well I won't say that this is uh, this is worth it but except that you do only get to carry two different uh, different bombs every time okay and as for the last thing the amount of armaments well the armaments uh, the different bombs you can strap to your wings 
you would think that the clear winner here would be h6k, but no, he did place on the second. The first place goes to SB2M, who can carry up to 8 different bump loadouts, which is the, well I would say this more, uh, you do have the most versatile in the choosing whatever you need for the, for the mission. Then on the second place, as I did mention, goes the H6K4, uh, followed with the, with the 5 uh, different amount of uh, armaments. Then the Catalinas with uh, with only four, and we do finish up yet again with the Beaufort with only three different uh, different armaments or different uh, bomb setups he can carry. So, what do you think plays the on the first place in this category? Well, the question for the hundred uh, hundred points. Well. Not to keep you waiting, let's see the winners. And the winners are the SB2M series from the tier 3, those free aircrafts. I'm not counting the first one you get on the tier 3. Uh, let's see them. Those three aircrafts, the SB2M 103U, MV3 and 103, are the best aircrafts up to tier 3 in the case of the bombers. So whenever you are flying the Russian Tech 3 and you are up for bombing and you are a dedicated bomber pilot, well, you do pick a right nation for it. But let's get back to our, our winners. On the second place, equally, plays the H6K4 with the Catalina. And while the H6K4 do have very big amount of the repair cost, that's why I do recommend if you are going for the bombers, go with the Americans and the Catalinas. Well. I do think that the repair cost of this aircraft is just the... Well, it did place on the second place, comparing all other stats, but this uh, almost 13,000 uh, 13, credits of repairs is just the plain killer for me. And I did flew like one or two missions with it. I wasn't uh, that successful with it, well, because of those 12, 50 kilo bombs, and it being a big aircraft, big slow aircraft. So, well, if you do like this aircraft, go for it, of course. But this 12, 13, uh, 13,000 credits of repair is just too much for me. Comparing that the Catalina only have, uh, let's say, 4,000 uh, credits to repair in total for both of those aircrafts. So, but well, you do also start with the 50 kilo bombs, but uh, yet again, you can carry a bit more of them. 16 here, while the H6K can only carry 12. So, four more. Well, it's not that much, but it's always something more. It's always that little, little things that, that change the game. And May, well, it don't have that good of the of the defense armaments. Well, it don't have the cannons, but it is pretty durable aircraft. And as on the second place, well, well, oh sorry, I was, I should be pointing at this aircraft. But it is, we do have the same 16 uh, 16 bombs, uh, 16 50 kilo bombs here. But the game breaker for me here is this aircraft lacking a wheels. It has it is a basically a boat with the with the wings strapped to it. And in some missions uh you can uh, you can land on the airfield to to capture it or land on the airfield to get some repairs. And it being it 
while it don't have any wheels you are unable to do it so the second place in this category as you can see is is a very tricky between the Catalina and the H6K4 both of them having their flaws but I would say that the uh, that the Catalina sh placed like well let's say on the second and the half place oh, something like that because it is slightly just slightly better than the H6 K, uh, K4 just slightly uh, then on the third place we do get our famous Catalina the normal version or the well the 5A version with the wheels so you are able to take out the uh, you can you are able to land on the on the on the airfields you are able to uh, to capture capture the airfields in the domination whenever you get yourself into the domination map and you do destroy the initial ground targets here on this on the map so well as for the the third place well yes it is a third place you might say well it is slightly slightly better than H6K because of the amount of bombs but the raw stats say something else and everything goes for whatever you like to fly this aircraft or you don't or you do prefer the H6K over Catalina that's also fine as you did see the raw stats are saying that well it is better aircraft and the our final aircraft in this comparison as you can see on the fourth place is the Beaufort Mark 8 sadly because I do very much like this machine it's very cool looking machine but this lack of bombs well you do carry the torpedo well that's a good thing but two 250 kilo bombs well you could always ask for more but yet again the row stats well the least defensive armaments so you are well you are pretty defenseless against the the any any enemy uh, fighter that will be going after you whenever he is approaching you from the uh, from the back from the lower back you will be defenseless uh, well also the turn time of it is is bit high almost 40 seconds so you do need to initial initial initiate the turns very early then well the amount of bombs the the uh, the weight of the bombs you can carry is also not that great 500 kilograms it's almost like nothing compared to to the Catalina or H6K which are able to carry 2000 kilo bombs or even to the SB series or uh, who can carry up to uh, 1500 kilo bombs so it is lacking and that's why it did placed on the fourth place in my comparison okay guys I do think that this will be it for today there will be well there ain't that many of the of the bombers on the tier 3 and uh, and those who are well we now know who's the best by the row stats we now know who's the worst by the row stats but al always remember one thing those comparison that I am doing remember they are only just the row stats compared it's not like I am comparing my experience in the in the flying those things uh, just because it is what I said before some of you will find that the uh, Beaufort is the greatest bomber and you do find that you are able to destroy like 20 ground targets in a mission doing some crazy moves crazy stunt moves uh, dodging the enemy fighters and stuff like that and some of you will say well for me the best plane is the Catalina because it is very durable and I don't have to worry about any enemy fighters because they won't kill me 
everything goes to your playstyle and how do you feel about uh, about the certain aircrafts. So guys, that would be it for today. I do believe I will upload another video, another mission video, because I did have amazingly good game with uh, with my boomerang Mark One the the other day, and I do think I will upload it today also. So there will be two videos for you, maybe, or I may will maybe edit the the boomerang video and it will be released tomorrow. But nevertheless. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, listening to my uh, listening to me for those past uh, well, the past time. And thumbs up, like the video if you if you like it, if you do like the series. Uh, subscribe to my channel. That is also very important for me. And yeah, that would be it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And Iron Rifle, out.